Mr. Manamolo Nason was the first person to put radio signals in Bubandi Wundibujo district in 2019. His radio receiver picks the light FM signal only when it is placed at the window of his house. He also has to connect a wire on the antenna in order to get a clear signal. During the COVID-19 induced lockdown, when churches were closed, Christians would gather at his home to listen to the church service over the radio. <laughs> Friday, <laughs> Wasana no boyo we ready yo hunga hamperayo, chechikala kana yo ouli sabit inanga tramo oko ivlo puyai lete famsi anga brabo. Mr. Justice lives about a hundred meters away from Mr. Nason. He says he got to learn that lete fm signals can reach their area. When he reached home, he also tried out if his receiver could pick the signal. Mr. Justice, who operates a carpentry workshop at his home, learned of Light FM through his neighbor, Mr. Nason. However, he can only receive the radio when the receiver is placed on his bed in his bedroom. This means that he cannot listen to Light FM radio while doing his carpentry work in his workshop, which is just in his compound. <laughs> Madam Sean, who operates a shop at a local trading center that is about 200 meters from Mr. Justice and Nason's homes, cannot pick the radio signal while at her shop. She also confirms to us that in the entire area, only two men can pick the radio. Marina Mission Mukiara Kiwama Hazia Oliver, Mugua, and then 
Musasibuka Nimunu, Wakubanti, Obuheria Walite FM Tani Bombo Tonga, Kandini, our neighbor Banjanga Vede, Nisim Quete Putayo, Putaga Quanze, Napsaba Weben Beri Walite FM, Wakutu, Wakubarango, Batuikio, Obuheria Wabo, and Tukubekuka, Tutunga. So, Mkugwani is a very important thing. The management is ready to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. We are going to be able to do it. Pastor Ruweza in Yahuka says he's able to pick the radio signal in his sitting room. He confirms that the community in Bundibujo is yearning to listen to Adventist World Radio Light FM. My name is Richard Ruweza, the district leader in Yahuka SDA Church. I thank God today. service is going on on radio on radio light fm here at my home at church i will receive about 20 to 25 people every worship sabbath and others would worship in their families and uh, around the uh, nyauka here there are only just a few homes who listen to the radio and uh, how i ask that uh, the radio the radio's capacity can be increased that all our people can be reached. Today, we happened also to visit the refugee camps. We got some, some, some of them who were worshiping on the radio, and even others, they, they had no chance of worshiping through the ministry of the radio. So, if we get more support, Enhancing the capacity of the radio, it can reach people and many will hear God's voice. Thank you very much, and uh, I wish you God's blessing. I'm Richard Weza, the district leader now. Right now, we are at Usunga town. Usunga town is the first town when you're just entering into Uganda from the Democratic Republic of Congo through the Wundigujo border. At this point, the people behind me you are seeing on the verandas, just at the balcons of the houses, are refugees who have crossed into Uganda due to the insurgency in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Even when we have not got the opportunity to share with some of them due to clearances by authorities, we are sure that Adventist World Radio can do something to serve the situation. In moments when they can't go to church, we can provide them with radio receivers and they can be able to attend church service on radio. By boosting the signals of 102.9 Light FM AWR from Kasese to reach and cover the whole of Wundibujo, it will help these people to access the word of God from the refugee camps and be able to preach to so many of their neighbors 
in the refugee camp. I am Baker Wambale.